Hi guys. Um, long time no see. And unfortunately, long time no study. That's why no video <laughs> for a while. But um, uh, now I make another video. I'm getting back into it. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, things will go better going forward. So uh, here I am. This is my world. This is the game I like to play. Um, and I just want to show you guys something real quick. I don't know how helpful this will be to anyone else who likes video games or um, whatever. So it's all in Korean and I like to multiplay. Here it is in English. I can, uh, I'm playing two characters at once. And so one, one game's in English, one game's in Korean. Um, previously I tried playing this game in Korean and I stuck with it for a couple of weeks before I switched it to English because, uh, the, this is a lot of all this is new to me and it's just too much but uh now it's this makes it really makes it so much easier whenever i uh, can't remember something or i just get confused i just hit just pulled up on the other tune and saw it right there i was actually using this to make uh flashcards and anki but i'm probably not going to do that keep that up right now um i got some other things i'm doing instead for flashcards, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, but this is pretty cool. Anyway, so, yeah, so let's see. Chodeagi uh, to invite, right? I was just in there. Chodeagi. <laughs> right. Yeah. And this is the all in Korean <laughs> translation. That's a quest. Iperonu, Huan Wehan. Uh, Hedok J and Ishnuala Everens Iberon Everens Everens Hedok Wehan Hedok J Ah Hedok J guess that's the Hedok okay and uh, we'd have would be for him so yeah, I was going to make some flashcards using this, but I'm not going to now. I'm going to, instead, I'm probably going to, well, I'll show you. Good luck, friend. Um, so this past week, I was my goal was to get back into studying Korean. And I obviously um, thought, hey, I guess I could try making this game go in both English and Korean. And that would be helpful. And um, that's what I... Um, and that, that, works to, that looks to be like a great success. Um, I can totally play this game in Korean and not burn out <laughs> because that's what I did was I tried to st do it in Korean. I would just, I just burned out eventually and switched it to English. Uh, so that's good. And also, um, you know, after, if you haven't studied a language in a while and you want to get back into it, another thing you can do is jump in back into Anki. It'll pull up your old decks. Well, I, I didn't get too far into this one, uh, Korean vocabulary by Avida. And that's, I was experimenting with some of the other decks. This is the one I'm going to focus, I've been focusing on. Um, I spent probably about two hours per day or more on this this week. And I, I just, it's just a lot of fun just to go through. And it's a, it's a vocabulary deck. Um, Hangyong. Hangyong. And I don't know why that's him, him there. Um, but the, just doing a vocabulary deck to me is so much more um, relaxing and not too, uh, keeps me studying Korean without um, making me too tired. Or sentence decks. Unfortunately, the sentences invariably just get too long or whatever. And it's just, uh, they're not, the, I guess, the perfect I plus one uh, that they could be. If they were perfect I plus one, or if maybe if my Korean were better and I didn't uh, get tired uh, so much from reading sentences, then uh, that would work better. But it, and I'm not there. And that's the, this is the way it is. It's kind of a cash 22, isn't it? At least in my mind, uh, sentence decks, um, they're kind of too hard when you're a beginner and you really need all that sentence exposure. And then after you get good <laughs> and it's not too hard, then you don't really need the sentences on the flashcards so much, just that target vocabulary. Anyway, um, so I hate grammar, but I have to learn grammar. And I was experimenting with, um, well, this book, which is a, is a good book. And I uh, have the intermediate copy as well. And I uh, made some Anki decks using this. There's other also Anki decks you can download uh, from the shared deck list. And they're pretty, they're very good. But um, I'm finding, at least in the intermediate book, the beginner book, the sentences they give and the example are actually, they're simple. They're right on. It's like I could put those on a flashcard. It's okay. But uh, in the intermediate, it gets a bit much. 
and I have this cheat sheet thing I made instead. And Dohan Chan Shigi Seo, Chega Yogi Kopiru, Chowaha Gotunyo. This is, it, it doesn't get too complicated. This, this is my cheat sheet. I found this on Google somewhere. Some guy made, uh, just Googled for a uh, Korean grammar cheat sheet, and this guy uh, made, I found this, this deck, or not deck, but um, uh, PDF file, I think. Or maybe a word file of uh, someone with uh, all the grammar or all, a lot of the grammar um, condensed down into kind of a cheat sheet type format. <laughs> so I made an Anki deck out of it. It's also available on the uh, shared deck list if anyone else is interested. I um, I'm liking it, and I've kind of I, I keep experimenting with other options for grammar decks, and I keep coming back to this one. Um, so I'm gonna do that get this caught up slowly this is not it's not a big priority but just as long as i do some consistently on the grammar deck then I'll, that's good because i don't want to ignore it and then uh korean vocabulary by evita didn't do that a whole lot um topic in 30 days i was going to do that that's here yeah, it's kind of cool but 23. 경험. 경험. again i don't want to put sentences on side one so that's kyongom was the uh, target word and Answer. And this was a book I purchased, and obviously I kind of ripped it into Anki. This is chapter one, but uh, the sentence, I think I'm not going to, I'm not so happy with having the sentence forced on me. And I don't want to make the deck. I like, uh, I have... You know, a v Korean uh, vocabulary by Vita is already made for me. I spending time making decks. I'm I'm so sick of it. I've done a huge portion of my life already <laughs> making decks for Anki. I'm just, like done with that. They say making the flashcards is uh, helpful to help you remember it. Screw that. <laughs> Screw that. It's probably a little bit of truth there, but not enough truth. And I'm finding um. I'm finding also. Uh, this is uh, so I um, this this week as I get back into uh, Korean I did uh, my game in Korean I did uh, my flashcards oh also I did an italki tutor um, I've had bad luck with uh, italki tutors and I um, but I still have these credits and I, I still it's like I want to have something someone besides just me uh, hiding out in my apartment um, from Corona. Um, interact someone else to interact in Korean with. I've had such bad luck with teachers. They keep canceling. Oh my God. But um, I'm trying a new teacher. She's uh, priced about twice as what? At $28 per hour. <laughs> I, I used to get cheap teachers, which doesn't mean they're bad, but they're just, um, anyway. So $28 per hour. She's a little older too and um, seems more responsible. I'm hoping it goes well. Uh, the first lesson, she seemed really nice, and just uh, you know, in terms of her personality, was a very, very uh, some someone I would love to study with. So that's it's great. And uh, the lesson was a little bit well, it was below my level, which as a, because I have, I'm really rusty on Korean, I haven't uh, immersed at all lately. That's that worked out well, I think. But I asked to do a more difficult lesson. I spoke mostly English in that lesson. Um, I guess I was tired and well and rusty, but uh, I plan to to speak more Korean going forward, maybe next week even. Um, I can, even though my Korean is bad, because I have so much experience with foreign languages, I think I can make it work. My Korean is very bad though, is uh, the Korean uh, deck here. Okay, really by, I mean, this is the first, kind of the first 2,000 words. And I, I have, there's a lot of them that I don't know. Some of them I'm relearning because I had forgotten them, but I studied them. But that's how bad my, if you don't know the first 2,000, like, a, the, well, they're not necessarily the first 2,000 words, but, um, you know, according to the, the topic or whatever, or whatever um, study materials she used, this is kind of your first 2,000 words that you should know, and I don't know most of them, <laughs> then my Korean's bad. <laughs> but I still think it's enough to make it work, have a, uh, a simple conversation, I'm going to uh, see what I can do there. Um, yeah, and then... Yesterday, I got back. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to read 
get back into reading because reading to me, if you're not reading, then you need to start reading. <laughs> reading is just a huge um, aspect to learning a foreign language. There's uh, lots of things you can do. Speaking, reading, uh, well, reading flashcards, listening, watching TV. Reading's huge. And I tried using Ricky, which is a, a, an app that Maple Leaf uh, recommended in her video. It looked really good, and it, I think it is good. But for me, uh, Link, Ricky's free. <laughs> That's a great app. Another reason why it's great. Absolutely free. <laughs> Excuse me. And it links with Naver, which is another lovely thing. Um, but looking up words is a little slower. Although it links directly to Naver and it's really nice, just highlighting the word, at least for me, was seemed like a little, took a few seconds or a couple, or more than one second. Um, and then once you do select it, uh, highlight, select the word, you have to, a menu pops up and you have to, uh, it's like a consec or whatever. Uh, you have to, um, you have to search for it. That takes that takes a little more time, and then you got to wait for the network because it's queuing uh, the neighbor dictionary in Korea to pull up. This all takes us several seconds to get your your um, your word pulled up and, and to see it. Whereas in uh, Link, um, if you use the Link dictionary, I think it's local. I know this is a lot of it's mostly online, but it's, uh, and you got to wait for this to load, but. I mean, it's right there. It's uh, it's instant, and so looking at all these words that I don't know in this in these sentences, there's so many words. Um, all those seconds really add up to a big portion of a uh, you know big chunk of time, and so I resubscribe to Link. I had let my uh, subscription lapse. I forget how much it is, like thirteen, fourteen dollars a month, or twelve or something. No discount this time. I'm doing it monthly because we'll see. Um, well, there's no discount really offered at the moment anyway, so <laughs> might as well. Um, but my plan is to read this book um, using Link. It's uh, Wizard of Bakery. I'm, not, I'm on chapter one. I just started. 17 chapters, I guess. That's actually really short. I should be able to go through this pretty quickly. And then I can uh, say I've read three books. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how well you count that. I don't know if this is a short story per se or just a short novel, like a, uh, like a 100-page novel. It's not 17 chapters there. It's pretty short. It's still enough that I, I'll count it. So I'll say three books. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, so spending several day, hours a day on Korean currently, uh, going really well. And I'm feeling very good about my Korean uh, very positive. Uh, I feel like uh, I feel like my um, it's new stuff material is sinking in, and I feel like I, if I in the next few months, uh, at this rate, I'm going to be very happy with my progress. God, look at this. it says eight thousand five hundred thirteen words. I know, but according to Evita, I'm still it's <laughs> learning the first two thousand. Uh, the way Link counts words and the way everyone else does, completely different. Ah, unfortunately, a fiction of my imagination, I think, this number. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.